Today I want to talk to you about standards. I specifically want to talk to you about setting standards when it comes to uh, determining this concept of prerequisite strength when we learn how to move, when we progress movement, physical movement. So what you're watching is actually a rant. If you don't like rants, just press the pause button, come back tomorrow, there's going to be more content. If you don't mind a little rant with a good message, keep watching. That being said, let's go back to the video. And this comes in reference to a comment I got on YouTube from one of the videos I posted yesterday about getting off of the ground using one leg and no hands. And someone commenting and asking how many repetitions does one have to have of a more basic movement pattern in order to achieve a more advanced pattern like I was performing yesterday with that single leg squat. Now when it comes to physical movement, when it comes to your movement practice, there is no such thing as number strength. There is no such thing as saying you should be able to do five strict pull-ups before you do a kipping pull-up. A strict pull-up is when you do a pull-up on a bar and your body doesn't move, and a kipping is when you swing your body around to use some momentum. That's for those who don't know what that is. But a lot of people use this concept of a number as a prerequisite standard to be able to achieve the higher level. Now, that's scientifically not correct, actually, because we're all different. That type of prescription is a great prescription for some general safety and some general guidance, but it doesn't help the individual really achieve uh, a complete progression. What am I talking about? When it comes to movement, there is no such thing as number strength, only movement strength. And movement strength is determined by how you move and what you feel while you move. In order to achieve that, you need to become aware of how you move and how the body looks while moving and how you feel while performing said movement, whatever that may be. Once you have achieved that, the body will naturally adapt into strong positions, strong mechanical advantages that you can utilize to take it to the next level. The problem comes when we're trying to help people achieve these movement patterns and we're trying to create these really rapid progressions, these really uh, quick on-ramps. And in order to do that safely, a lot of people need some sort of data. They need metrics. And that metric, of course, comes in a number. And once there's a number, there's an obsession. And once there's an obsession, then you are stuck. You have gotten lost. You've actually missed the point, which is just to move and become aware of that movement. So now I know I'm ranting right now, but the reason I bring this up is because if you're a coach that's out there teaching other people how to move, make sure you base your teachings on movement feel because once you understand movement feel you'll get movement looks and movement looks is the execution that we're all looking for that correct execution and once you get movement looks you have movement safety and once you have movement safety you have longevity and once you have longevity you have a relationship with these people and you actually get something out of it that goes beyond performing a pistol a handstand push-ups or a pull-up so when it comes to setting standards, especially baseline standards to achieve higher levels of performance, make sure you start by measuring and feel. And if you understand how to measure and feel, you automatically become aware. You automatically have a conscious practice. You have a complete practice that goes beyond the gym, that goes beyond the technique. And that is so much more powerful than obsessing about a number, a number that's eventually going to disappoint you because you may not reach it and may even be a lie. It's just something someone made up. It may just be a standard that's alive today, but tomorrow is completely different. Start by moving like you care. Once you start caring, everything else just falls into place. 
when it comes to setting standards, make sure it looks good. Make sure it feels good. And if it matches a sport, a game, a pattern that you know, a technique, fantastic. If it doesn't, you're creating your own. Now we're tapping into originality. And that is exactly what we want. We want you to be original. We want you to be you.